In this video, we're looking at how to create a new document in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017, uh, which has changed a little bit from the previous update. It's put in something of a setup wizard for creating a new document, but if you open it up, you're going to have a page that looks like this. It may have some of your recent projects if you've opened this multiple times, uh, but in I have it right now set to show CC files because it's the more blank version of what you typically see. Now, if I go up here to uh, New, and click that. This is where it takes me to kind of the creation wizard. It has lots of presets and lots of templates. And it shows me the different kinds that I've used, uh, custom ones. Uh, it shows me presets for devices, for mobile phones, etc. And uh, things for web, things for print, things for film and video, things for art and illustration. Basically, all any of these are doing is they're cr filling in the information here on this right column. So you can set it up completely custom, or you can go through and you can use some of these, or you can make one and save it, etc. For the sake of what I'm doing, I'm just going to go to uh, some of my recent ones because it already has some of this information filled in. So basically I use this drop down here on the top right, uh, set that to pixels. The reason why I set it to pixels is because I'm just creating a work board, somewhere that I could go in and make something. It doesn't have to be done to a specific size in this case. Now if I was creating something like a business card, then I would go and set this to inches and I would make the the width, I'll see how big is a business card, I believe it's three and a half inches wide, uh, two inches in height. So I could set that to inches that way and it would fit nicely to a business card. I could also then change the orientation of it, portrait and landscape, and it just reverses those numbers, width and height, whenever I set that. So again, for the cases of what I'm doing here though, I'm going to set it to pixels and I'm going to do 1000 by 1000 pixels. Again, just a workboard pixel doesn't actually have a lot of meaning when it comes to Adobe Illustrator because you're working in a vector software which is not based on pixels like a raster software such as Photoshop. So when it says pixels, it's giving me kind of an indeterminate virtual size that is consistent within its own universe but not necessarily carries much meaning or attachment to reality. Uh, that's kind of a philosophical way of getting at it, but it's the truth. Now again, number of artboards, I could set that to multiple canvases within the same project, which is useful if I'm creating something like a business card that has both a front and a back, or if I'm wanting to do multiple iterations of the same design and have them self-contained within the same project. That's something that's possible. In the case of this, however, I'm just going to set it to one. It is good to know, however, that you can do that and then also that you can change it after the fact once you're inside the software. Down below here you have bleed, which is really a print thing. If you're sending something off to be printed, there has to be a bleed around the edge, which is a little bit more canvas than you actually need that gets trimmed off during the process. So, you know, this would be set to like an eighth of an inch if I was using inches. In the sake of using pixels, I'm not really going to use it. You'll notice as I bring the number up, all four, four of these categories, top, bottom, left, and right, change at the same time because they are linked together. You can also unlink them if for some reason you wanted to do that. Probably doesn't come up a lot. Color mode down here below. CMYK color, which is four color process, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Uh, that's the one that you use most often. It also has RGB, which is becoming more common as a uh, print outlet, but by and large, you'll, finally, you'll probably find yourself using CMYK, a CMYK most, uh, although the industry might be changing a little bit in that direction before very long. And there's also an option that says more settings, but all it does is open up the traditional... Uh, try to think of a good word for it, the traditional dialog box for creating a new canvas. This is more familiar to older versions of Illustrator. Again, kind of what they have set up now in here is a wizard. It kind of helps you set it up. But if you wanted to go and use the traditional form, this is where it's located. So I'm just going to hit Create. It's going to bring me to a canvas. Talking about the toolbar and the functions and the essence of Illustrator is really something for another video.